What's good, y'all? And welcome to my Beauty and the Beast movie review. So, I know. I'm right. I know Movie Kid has been out for like about a month now, but I just made it. I just now have seen the remake because all, the other, because all previous weeks I've been busy watching other movies that I would rather see, like, you know, Ghost to Shelf Fast 8. So, the plot is the same as the original from 91, where it's a tale of bestiality between a beauty and a beast, starring Belle, a girl who suffers Stockholm Syndrome after her, after her kidnapper has been jumped by a pack of wolves. And. <laughs> Alright, I'm done trashing. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, I'm done shitting all over your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do have to admit this movie, too, but I, but I'm sure all of you know the beast. I've got, I've seen the bestiality joke at least once or twice about this, um, about being the beast. So, alright, but enough sticking around. This is our, now, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't seen the original Beauty and the Beast, the original Disney classic, since, like, since I was, like, a kid. I've never seen a movie like a Grand Theft Auto anime once or twice. I never really ever owned the movie on like DVD or on VHS. Yes, I had a bunch of the Disney, uh, a bunch of the old Disney movies on VHS. You know those like old white clam shells. You know, do you know those ones? Yes, like how old I am. I know VHS tapes. So, um, see, so yeah, I've only seen one that was like twice, but that was back in kid, which was like like around when I was seven. So that's like what ten years ago. And, like, it's been like ten years since I've last seen it, so I don't remember. Much so I can't tell you like different comparisons and things like oh yeah the Disney oh yeah the original did this while the remake did that I can't tell you, really tell you that much I have some memories but not a lot there of the original movie so but yeah okay so let's first do over the cast the cast was really fucking amazing everyone did a fantastic job um, Emma Watson as Belle greatness absolutely good job uh, the guy who played Beast was great um, Luke Evans who plays Gaston did a fantastic job as well as John, uh, Glenn, they played Lefo, Lefo, I think that's how you play Lefo, I believe that's how you say, I'm not French, I believe that's how you say his name, uh, the character's name, who was pretty much, um, uh, Gaston's, like, a friend, assistant, posse, you may reckon, you may remember Josh, uh, Dad, I think you'd say his name, from, he was in Frozen, ugh, I hate Frozen, uh, Pixels, I actually really enjoyed Pixels, Wedding Ringer, and a few other movies. Yeah, everyone did a fantastic job with their roles. Yeah. Yeah, everyone did a fantastic job with their roles. Alright, guys, it's just like, guys, it looks like, wait. Wait, is it? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the cast right now on Google on my iPad. Apparently, Ian... McCain, McCain, um, ex um, um, Magneto was apparently the voice of Cogsworth, the clock. Is this from, was this the original? No, I'm looking at the remake cast and I guess he voiced him. <laughs> no, it's in that's interesting. So yeah, um, uh, crap, I'm sorry. Um... I right, the cast. The cast did a fantastic job, everything. The CGI on Beast and as well as all the antiques, you know, the candles, stuff. Greatness, absolutely. If there's one thing that these um, Disney remakes have done consistently well, it's the CGI. These guys, the CGI, the jungle, and like Jungle Beast was amazing. The CGI in this movie is amazing too. Really enjoyed the CGI. Now, and also, guys, fun fact: Did you know this? The original Beauty and the Beast was actually nominated for Best Picture in back when the movie came out back in '91, I believe. Wait, so yeah, it was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. It only lost like at, to Silence of the Lambs. So yeah, so I highly doubt Lightning's gonna strike twice again. Like I highly doubt the Academy's gonna nominate the movie again for Best Picture. That happens, I would be surprised. So yeah, um, yeah. So um, um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, the characters were. Uh, yeah, the actors were amazing. The the songs, the the musical numbers in this movie, pretty as always, like usual, just like in the original. I don't believe, were there any new songs in this one? I, like I said, guys, I haven't seen the original Boot and the Beast in like 10 years. So I can't tell you if there's like a new, like, what if, like, what if there were a new track about the old ones? The, uh, the ones I do remember, the few tracks I do remember, they were really good. Also, one thing, now, okay, now, Belle, like, I know there's, there's this one scene where, like, around the beginning, where, like, Belle's actually teaching these, a little girl how to read, and she's doing knowledge of the cripple, and people are looking like, ugh! You're teaching a girl how to read. Is it fun enough? Like I'm like, 
Well, fuck you too, asshole. <laughs> like the dudes have been giving their shit for like teaching a girl read, because God forbid women know how to read. <sighs> And then you know what they do? They fuck with, they like take her laundry out of the water and just like, like fucking assholes. And also, you know, actually, after when uh, the um, Beast does get hurt and injured by those wolves after he tries to save uh, Belle, the, uh, when she's trying to tend to his wolf and they're arguing to her, did anybody, did any of y'all get, if you've seen DBZ, did any of y'all get any, like Balm of Vegeta vibes at all? Because I was like, this guy, I, let's. While I was watching that scene, it reminded me a lot of, like, Bulma and Vegeta. <laughs> Just, I was going to turn to see. Yeah, guys, see. So, yeah. To repeat, the movie was, the movie was a lot better. Well, yeah. Let me try. <laughs> the movie was amazing. The characters were amazing. The story, um, the CGI, everything was great. My final thing for this movie is a 9. A 9.5 out of 10. It was a damn good movie. Highly recommend it. If you are a fan of the original Beauty and the Beast, I highly recommend you see it. You will most likely enjoy it. If you've never really seen Beauty and the Beast, I also recommend it. So yeah, guys, I highly recommend the movie. You go check it out if you can, if you haven't already. So yeah, guys, as always, please like, comment, as always, subscribe for more. See ya. Also, guys, one thing I forgot to mention, there's actually this, um, scene later on in the movie when, like, uh, where, like, Belle and the Beast start to, like, really get to get along and get to know each other, where she, te where, um, the Beast teach, uh, takes Belle to, um, her, to his library, and then she looks at the library, and I wouldn't be, and knowing how much of a bookworm she is, I wouldn't be surprised she had 15 orgasms all at once when she first walked in, and, and then, and also, there, and also, she was, like, quoting Shakespeare, um, while he was on his bed, you know, uh, recovering, and then, <laughs> and then actually, then he, you know, then he starts quoting it, uh, the same thing she was quoting, and then she starts talking about, like, you know, and then she asks him, like, you know, Shakespeare, he says, yeah, and so he's like, and she says, Romeo and Juliet is my favorite, and he's like, oh, what well, does that not surprise me, I'm like, <laughs> and he's just like, he's like, blah, Romeo and Juliet, like, blah, I'm like, yep, I know, you beast, that, know you should, that book is just a, is just a huge cringe fest. Yes, now I know I've just committed the ultimate sin, the ultimate literature sin by saying Shakespeare and Romeo and Juliet are cringe for Well, I've already committed a sin, I've already committed two sins by saying that the Great Gatsby, it's overrated, that book is terrible, it's boring, nothing happens, I like. The movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, far superior. Yeah, and then actually, and then, they're like, and then after a while, then they're <laughs> reading books on the dinner table. Another great scene, another fun scene, I enjoyed the movie, thanks for characters, so as always guys, see ya.